Hey everybody, it's Yashua. Welcome to this therapy session. Welcome to all newcomers and to all returning subscribers. I love you all and I'm happy to see you more than ever. So today, uh, like quick disclaimer before the video starts, this is not a substitute for uh, real therapy if it is needed. I highly recommend that anybody who actually needs um, therapy get the kind of help that they need so that they can be the fullest person that they can be. That being said, I am so happy to see you here today and I can't wait for this to develop even more. Um, as always, same as before, please leave comments um, about what you think in this video, about if any of this has helped you, and about what you're going through in particular with this issue. Um, and I want everybody who's watching this to go flood the comments with love and support for one another, because that's what we're here for, and it's going to be a very, 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 very powerful and positive thing together. <laughs> Today's topic, anxiety. Lots of people deal with anxiety every day, much more than is commonly thought, actually. And the good thing about this is that anxiety is derived a lot of the times from our perspective, for a lot of the times from things that we're thinking about and the way we're thinking about things that cause it to fester and kind of erupt and then spiral for a lot of us, right? And... The good thing about that is that those thoughts can be changed. If there are thoughts that are causing any sort of um, anxiety attack or panic in a moment, it means that changing the thoughts about that particular thing in the moment can change totally how you feel. First key, wait, first thing, tell me about a time, the last time that you felt anxiety about something. It was recently? Okay. And how did you feel in that moment? What was happening? Okay. Yeah, it usually starts with that raccoon and the lights kind of thing where it's just like you don't know how to respond to something right then in that moment. And you're trying to calm yourself before you feel this um, elevation of mood and emotion happening. It's usually how it goes. Then what? And you started to feel hot. Okay. A little loss of breath a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Then there's the feeling of panic, yes? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you some tools that I feel like if considered and practiced at least at the very least tried, it can cause a lot of good, a lot of good change in the situations when you feel overwhelmed and then anxiety starts to set in. Do you wanna know what they are? Of course you do. I'm just being playful. <laughs> Tip one. Tip one, stop, breathe. Take deep breaths. Let's exemplify what I mean. Let's do it together. Let's breathe. The exhale helps you relax. 
take it deep, take it slow. Tell yourself while you're exhaling that you feel your body relaxing. That you feel the level of your mind coming down. You can feel yourself gaining control. You breathe for multiple reasons. The biggest of which I think is that if you can be conscious enough to breathe in any given moment, then you know that you are in control. If you're present enough to remember to consciously breathe, then you are in control of things in that moment, and then you can shape the way things go from there. So breathe, number one. Number two, Number two, number two, if there isn't anything immediately pressing, meaning you have to react to something right now, it's survival, it's something like that, then a way to calm yourself is to take inventory of little things around you. So if you're outside, feel, take a minute to feel the air blow on you. If you're inside and you feel hot, take a minute to notice that you feel hot. If you feel air, breeze coming from your window, take a minute to feel the breeze, feel the breeze. Feel the coolness of the AC. Hear the AC, hear the fan blowing, you know. If, you're, if this is a winter time for you, hear the heater. Hear it. Feel it. Right? Take inventory of that. Feel the ground beneath your feet. <sighs> Take a minute to notice it. Touch your feet on the floor. Feel it. Feel the air. Feel your lungs. Take this inventory, become conscious of these feelings, process them. If you're aware of these little things, it centers your mind to a positive, to a present state. We're only ever anxious, mind you, in times when our mind is in the past or in the future. When they're in the present, we're here and our mind isn't full of those regrets or those worries, you know, the, the anxious thoughts. Do you ever notice that when you're enjoying yourself, when you're laughing, when you're, you know, whatever, you're not feeling those anxious thoughts? It's because your mind is in the present state. It's because your thoughts have not been allowed to drape into the regretful past or the anxious future, you know, the worrisome future. Thoughts about what's going to happen, what could happen. All of those kind of nervous creating thoughts. You have to come to, to realize that our mind is the most powerful thing that we have. Right? Wouldn't you agree? And if our mind can create a situation where we feel some kind of nervous, it can create a situation where we feel secure, safe, calm, at peace with our environment, with the people around us, regardless of even what they're doing. You tell yourself everything's fine. Everything's cool. This will help. Now, I know that that may seem like it's um, easier said than done. And perhaps it is. But difficult does not mean impossible. 
and you are capable of all things. Everything. There is nothing in this world that you are not capable of. Anything that one person can do, so can you. And I mean everything. So, that being said, doesn't that create a lot of joy for you? Doesn't that create a lot of excitement? Knowing that if you are able to take control of your thoughts, you can take control of your feelings, which means you can take control of your life. You are the one. It is not even me. I'm just here to listen and help guide through. That's it. You're like someone with a blindfold on trying to get through a maze. And perhaps I also have the blindfold on. And I'm not able to see clearly what your path is either. All I know is where you're trying to get. So I go to where you're trying to get, straight there. And I listen for your voice. And then I guide you with mine. That's all I'm here to do. But I can't walk the path for you. You have to believe first. You have to believe, first of all, that you are capable of doing these things. That you are strong enough within yourself to remember to breathe. Rule number one. First key. Breathe. If you can breathe, then you can know, you know that you are present and that you can, you're in control right now. Then start taking inventory of all the little things, what you feel, what you hear, what you smell, what you taste, if anything. You know, take inventory of all these little things that brings your mind to a present state and away from the past or the future. In the present is where real things happen. It's where we live in reality. And that's where things can change. Things can't change in the past. And things can't change in the future. All changes are made in real time, right now. And right now, as you watch this video, I am so happy to see you making this change right now. You don't feel anxious right now, do you? You feel good. You feel relaxed. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. See, that is what I'm talking about. I feel it. I can see your smile from here and it's brightening mine as we speak. <laughs> it's brightening mine as you sit there and consider and breathe. Let's have a moment of breathing, you and me. Let's do it, ready? Okay. Breathe in through your nose. Feels so good. Feels so good, doesn't it? Okay. My third key for defeating anxiety is proclamation. After you've breathed, take an inventory of the little things around you, how you feel, what you smell, what you, you know, hear, all of those things that bring you to a present state. We get around to proclaiming exactly 
what it is that you want to embody. So, I am calm. I am powerful. I am loving. I am forgiving. I am relaxed. I am joyful. I am courageous. I am capable. I am strong. spirited. I am loving. I am light. I am lighthearted. I am caring. I am warm. I am powerful. I am blessed. I am grateful. I am thankful. I breathe in love and light and breathe out anything negative in my being. I feel good. I feel charged. <laughs> I feel like smiling. I am in control. I am in control. I will not allow things external to affect my internal. I am in control of that. I affect how I feel. And how I feel is grand. Great. I feel happy. I feel happy. Don't be afraid to proclaim. This is what we're here for. You must be brave. In fact, proclaim right now with me. I am brave. I am brave. I am brave. I am in control of my life. Proclaim whatever it is that you want once you have breathed. Take an inventory and now proclaim whatever you want. I am rich. I am powerful. I am blessed. I am one with the all and the all is within me. <laughs> Therefore, I will do nothing but laugh and smile and give love because I can't help but to give love. <laughs> oh, I do hope this therapy session has been beneficial to you. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment if it has been because that like is going to go on to the YouTube algorithm and make sure that other people see this video and that comment is going to go on to give other people things to relate to, to feel like they are not alone with. And it is also going to go to help you because people are going to support you in those comments. I will support you in those comments. So please leave your love as I send you off with mine. My loves. <laughs>